11 breaking news alert. Another story. Another victim comes forward in that funeral home investigation. We've been telling you for the past several weeks that investigators found at least 189 bodies that were, they say, decomposing inside of a funeral home in Penrose just outside of Canyon City. Jared Dean spoke tonight with a woman whose son died four years ago in El Paso County. And Jared, she says the FBI called her in another state to tell her that the urn that she has carried for so long does not contain his remains. Yeah, Adam, she tells me that when she heard the news, it's like her son died all over again. Now she tells me that the FBI told her her son's remains were identified through fingerprints. I'm absolutely appalled. This is, this feels like he was killed again. Christina Page says she received the call that her son is among the bodies found inside the return to nature funeral home this week. First from Colorado Springs police, then the FBI. For four years that my son was stolen from us and this man literally stole my son. David died in 2019. He was 20 years old. Page tells me she received what she was told were her son's ashes years ago and then fingerprints from Return to Nature a year later. So now I'm wondering if those fingerprints are even his or if they just grabbed some random body to fingerprint a year later. Or maybe they did fingerprint him a year later. I, I didn't think that that would have been possible because he was supposed to be ash by then. Page says that she had to break the news to the rest of her family about the FBI's discovery reliving a personal tragedy all over again and waiting for answers. I'm in, I'm in shock. There's, there's really not much to add. Um, my heart goes out to all the families that are having to go through this that are not used to dealing with this level of trauma. Now, because this is an ongoing investigation, the FBI, CBI, and other agencies aren't releasing many details yet. So we do not know if and when the bodies will be returned to their loved ones. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. Okay, Jared, thank you.